What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we healed up Amphi. We won our gym badge. Seventh gym badge, by the way. Yeah. And, uh, well, normally after a seventh gym battle, we would actually go straight to Goldenrod City and see what's going on, because apparently Team Rocket's uh, running amok and all that stuff. But we got a call from the Warden Baoba. And the Safari Zone is now open, so we're going to take a little bit of a glance of that place before we go, you know, go wrecking uh, Team Rocket and all that stuff. Now, we're going right here at Sinewood City. This used to be locked before we actually defeated the the, well, the Sinewood City Gym Leader. Now, we'll get a call. Once you get a call, it'll be open. And we are opened up to new routes right here at Route 47, and you'll be finding some... in interesting players and all that stuff. I'm, I'm burping right here. Holy crud. But yes. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and start battling. Let's go ahead and start just destroying everybody because, hey, we are under-trained. If you guys haven't remembered uh, the Mahogany City Gym Battle, how we won that. Yeah. Definitely don't want that happening again. And, wow, this is a first. Uh, we're taking on somebody with a Dunsparce. Hmm. I wonder if Dunsparce will ever get an evolutionary form. I don't even know. I don't think so. I don't know. Well, they do. They did kind of. They did kind of do a, an evolutionary form for uh, Farfetch'd and Geller. So, you know, maybe another region and all that stuff. It could evolve. I don't know. We shall see. I I, I could be wrong. Now, let's see. As you guys probably already noticed, yes, this is a postcom. This is the third episode I'm doing a postcom on Pokemon Heart Gold. This used to be Livecom. I'm sorry, guys. I'm very, very sorry, but uh, the reasoning behind this whole postcom thing is this because, well, my computer has gotten a little too heavy with uh, with files, thus making this whole like recording, Livecom, and all that stuff a little too much for, you know, for for the program right here. So, what a better way to do everything perfectly than to just do a, a postcom and all that stuff. So from here on in. Pokemon Heart Gold will be postcom. I am sorry, guys, if you guys were looking forward to a live com on uh, Heart Gold, but it is what it is. I like things to be done the right way, and this is the right way for me right now. Uh, as for any other DS games that I, I may have planned, like Pokemon uh, uh, Black and White 2, uh, eventually I'll get to Pearl and Diamond somehow. I don't even know. God damn. Uh, they will all be done, you know, post and all that stuff, so I do apologize in advance, guys. Now, let's see, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Wow, we didn't bring a lot of items. Yeah, that's something that we need to take care of, too. Okay, so, uh, okay, so, oh, crud, we don't have anything to heal that paralysis. Good God, we need to, what is going on, man? Like, what have we done? I don't even know. Okay, so... Here we are in Route 47, and yes, you can actually catch some interesting Pokemon, one of them being Steelix. Believe it or not, guys, you can actually find Steelix in the within these cliffs right here. It's just a percentage. The percentage is very, very high, and uh, yeah. I think, I think Steelix is one of the first few Pokemon that you can actually find. Uh, well, actually, in-game, or one of the first Pokemon that you need to, to win, or you need to trade to evolve that you can actually find right here in any game and all that stuff if that made any sense and all that crud and good god okay so we're paralyzed yet again thanks a lot skip loom you a-hole yeah not so happy about that so now we're going to be using a quick attack of course we're yeah we're not going to be so lucky and yeah we're going to get bullet seed up the you know hoo ha ah lord yeah paralysis is still my mortal enemy from here on and all that stuff Anywho, guys, uh, let's see. You're gonna hear it right here one more time. Uh, other postcom games that you, that I have planned are the Nintendo uh, GameCube and all that stuff. And believe it or not, I do have a GameCube. I do have everything ready for Pokemon uh, Colosseum and Gale of Darkness. So just stay patient, guys. Stay very, very, very patient because, good God, I cannot wait to come out with all these uh, other walkthrough videos that you know. I have promised, or I don't even think I've actually told you guys. I'll probably post it up somewhere. I don't know. But yes. There's going to be more walkthroughs and all that stuff. But look at this. We defeated that guy, and we have another Pokemon paralyzed, which thanks a lot. And here we found a revive. You know, that could have been a paralysis heal. But no, it's a revive. And I'm not going to make my Pokemon faint again. And, well, 
here we are in the cliff cave. Now, there are two stairs, one up top and one on the bottom. On the bottom, we can actually go we can actually go further along this area. I'm, I choose not to because we do not have uh, I, I don't think we have a waterfall right now. Yeah, we don't have waterfall. I think Whirlpool is involved and I don't have anybody that can learn Whirlpool. Or I, I do, it's just I don't want to use it. But, yes. This place is, uh, is, is home to a lot of things, guys. A lot, a lot of things. This is why Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver is one of my favorite games because they include a lot of Pokemon in this and uh, Rud Baskets. So I may have chosen the wrong team right here because we got a Magmar and an Electabuzz and uh, well, fuck it, let's do it. And uh, yeah, Magmar protecting himself because he doesn't want to get hurt. So we're gonna be using Digadeck, wasting a turn. Okay, alrighty, okay, and a Thunder Wave. Wow, we were gonna get paralyzed again. Jeez, man, leave me alone. And here we go, dig attack on the Electabuzz. Come on, faint, faint, you a-hole. Yes, he fainted. Yes, sir, we make him faint. Look at that, okay, and Hercules getting experience points, but here we go with a horn attack. And that takes a good chunk, but look at this, we're getting burnt because of flame body. And here comes a flamethrower attack. You know, um, Cinder, <clears throat> you could be learning that attack anytime now. Could we kind of need it? And uh, wow, Hercules is getting he's getting wrecked right here. So here we go, horn attack. Let's finish this guy off with a swift. Yeah, buddy. Come on, damn it! Horn attack for the win. And there goes Magmar. I am happy now, very very happy. And don't you guys miss listening to the jets fly over my my, my apartment? Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, America. Okay, alrighty. So, that is that, and uh, we're gonna continue on right here battling people, seeing different things. Seriously? How many jets do you need? I don't even know. Okay, so here we are in the waterfall and all that crud, and we're gonna be finding an item right here, and look at that. We found ourselves a lagging tail. Nice item. Don't necessarily want to use it because it lowers the speed. There's a sign right there, and yes, there are gonna be people waiting for us. So we're gonna be switching out to our Pokemon that are not affected by any status, uh, status parts or status, you know, whatever. Okay, alrighty. So watching over my girlfriend makes my heart go. Oh yeah, this is a couple. They are in love. Jeez, I remember. I remember. Th I actually don't remember that feeling. Whatever. Let's do this. We're gonna destroy this uh, Onyx and, and Cloyster. Let's not focus on my misery on why, why, why Draven keeps on uh, getting dumped or something like that. I'm just playing. But yes, here we go. U-turn just to skip a turn. And yes, we're gonna be choosing a Pokemon that can actually beat up these guys. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're gonna go with Fluffbolt. Let's take care of you, Cloyster. And well, here we go with a Dig Attack. Yeah, it sounds like Pokey and all that stuff, but they were poking down, and here comes a Sandstorm. Yeah, you, you cannot be that. Oh, God. Here we go with an Aurora Beam. Uh, jeez. Okay, so that didn't really confuse us, but here comes a Sandstorm, and of course, we're going to get hurt. So does Cloyster, since it's a uh, water and ice type, I think. And, well, let's finish him. Thunder Punch. And here comes a Dig. Okay, come on. Faint Onyx. Oh, crap, Bastis. Okay, here we go. Thunder Punch. Let's get it. And a Thunder Punch is a critical hit. Seriously, how many jets do you need? Ah, oh, crud. Yeah, you, we can, if you guys can hear it, yeah, you can hear it. And here comes a Rock Throw. And Cinder. Looking... Well, it didn't, it didn't really lose a lot, so we're going to get hit by the Sandstorm. So, let's go right ahead and use... Uh, well... Let's just attack them all together. Uh, well, I can't really use anything for Fluffbolt, so let's go with a swift attack right here. And end this quick, and this Onyx did... Yeah, it fainted, finally. Finally, okay. So, we get experience points, we defeated the young Cuffle Duffin, and, uh, and uh, well, now we can actually move on right here. And of course, our mom's gonna be, uh, be calling us every friggin' time, telling us that, hey, Draven, I left you a nice item, I bought it with your money. Uh, could you just call us when you actually buy us like a Master Ball or something? No, no, like no shade on you or anything. I do respect my mama. It's just, seriously, 
Stop calling me every so often. And look at this guy. He's right here. The photographer. Holy crud. Okay, so we're going to be taking another picture right here. Look at my pimps and all that stuff. Okay, so here it is. Another progression picture. Yes, we got our full team looking like pimps and everything. Okay, alrighty. So, let's move on right here. Uh, yeah, we can check our pictures on our PC. That's actually pretty good. That way we can actually see the progression of our team. And, well, we're going to be attacked by a Pokemon. And look at that. We are going to find a Diglett. Holy bejeebus. A Diglett. Okay, alright. Diglets. Diglets are okay. Alright, we're going to be... Uh, let's go right ahead and uh, do something right here. We're going to actually put on a repel because we do not need to get attacked by Pokemon right now. I think you can find Tauruses right here too, if that's what you need. And, well, look at that. We found ourselves a nugget useful for, you know, buying some shit and all that crud. Okay, so let's go right here and here we are. The Safari Zone gate. Would you look at that, guys? We are in the Safari Zone. And now we're just gonna meet up with Baoba right here. Baoba. Hi, I have a feeling that you, you, uh, or I've been waiting for you. What'd you think? It's a brand new Safari Zone, by the way. I just had an idea. Would you like to take the Owner Aptitude Test? Sure. Now, the Owner Aptitude Test, you have to capture certain Pokemon that he wants to, he wants you to capture. After you do, like, maybe one or two trials, maybe three or four, I don't even know. Yes, uh, you will be the owner, the official owner of this whole Safari Zone. Now, there is a there is a little something. Make sure to bring like take out one of your Pokemon from your team because he does require you to capture a Geodude from here. Now, if you've already caught a Geodude elsewhere, he will not take that Pokemon. It has to be right here, Safari Zone. Eventually, the Safari Zone will progress, like will will expand, and you'll be able to like eh, you know switch from time to time the places, the everything, just to capture all these Pokemon. And look at this Geodude. And as always, we can only throw Safari Balls at it, so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that right there, okay? I don't think I captured this one right here. Come on, three, ten. Damn it! Okay, so like I was saying, guys, um, make sure to take one Pokemon out. Progression will be, will, 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 will take place a little bit later on. And look at that, you find yourself a level 17 Magneton. You could buy it. You could capture this guy, and you could, you know, probably get better moves or something. I don't even know. I'm just suggesting something. And, uh, well, yeah, you'll be able to capture some rare Pokemon right here, too. Some that you probably thought, you, you probably thought that you wouldn't get until, like, Mount Silver or anything like that. I would suggest looking all over the place for, the, for those specific Pokemon. If you want to build a, a bigger and better team, I might do that. Maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I have already recorded 15 episodes of this, so I don't think so. And look at this, we found ourselves a Geodude. Let's go right ahead and throw this Safari Ball. Come on, buddy! Get in my Pokeball. As you probably already know, I already captured a Geodude. But like I said, yeah, we kind of need to capture a Geodude from here. A native from here. So, there it is. We caught ourselves a Geodude, and we will not nickname this Pokemon. It has been transferred, so we have to go back to the PC and capture or get that Pokemon. So, we're going to get the heck out of here. We don't need to do anything else except just get that Geodude and, uh, what the hell? Oh, yeah, we're going to have to go back down. Okay, my bad. My bad, guys. My bad. Okay, so, yes, leave the Safari Balls, and, well, we got to go back to the PC and grab our Geodude. As you can see, he doesn't see it on your team, so you, you, again, you're gonna have to go go straight for the Geodude. And I believe you can actually do other games right here too. Don't necessarily remember what it was, but eventually I'll figure it out. I don't have the handbook right now, so. Let's go back to the PC. Let's get in there. Let's grab that PC and grab that Geodude because, uh, well, you know, we kinda need to be the owner of this place someday and all that crud. I think I do have another side quest to do. Maybe I don't know. Again, you could you could do this eventually, uh, before or after the whole uh, Team Rocket issue and all that stuff. So we got Geodude in our in our team. Now we're gonna go back to Baoba, and uh, he's gonna congratulate us, I guess, for something. I don't even know. So let's go back up there and uh, look at that right here. And he's like, "Oh, wonderful! You caught a Geodude!" And didn't I tell you there are two other tests? So, he's still preparing it. We're going to have to wait just a little longer. So, that is pretty much it for this episode, guys. In the next one, I don't know what we're going to be doing, but it might be Team Rocket. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.